How did the global interactions look during the age of exploration? Hello, I am William, and I am your host for today, and welcome to Life Simplified. Today, we will be talking about the age of exploration. Before we start, let's discuss what the age of exploration is. The age of exploration happened when humanism started. Humanism is the belief that humans were important too, that gods should not be the only one great thing. This let people starting to think about themselves. This is one reason Europe started to explore the world. They also did this because exploration would bring them three things, God, gold, and glory. Because of this, the Europeans became very wealthy. God was to stop the spread of Islam and convert non-Christians to faith. Gold was the European begin looking for quick and fast direct rights to Asia while avoiding Muslim Italian merchants to increase profit and glory. The kings who funded the voyages received lots of money and power and is why Europe got land from the US. They were looking for more money. Now let's start looking for how the global interaction looked during the age of exploration. To know this, we have to see all the different points of views of Europeans, Native Americans, and Africans. Let's first talk about Europe and Native Americans. What is the Columbian Exchange? After Europe started to explore, they found that Native Americans had a lot of resources. Soon after that, trade started. The Columbian Exchange changed the world as we see it. The advantages of the exchange was all the different resources we got from everywhere. America got things like bacon, while Europe got tomatoes. Can you imagine Italy without tomatoes? This was all good, but we can't forget that there are two sides to a story. While Europe were making money and Italy was finally making pizza, things were not looking so good in America. Remember, these people have never met before, and this is right after the plague ended in Europe. This meant that America has been exposed to new diseases. This led to many Native Americans to die. What is mercantilism? On that note, let's talk about Europe and Native Americans. Basically, in the past, countries thought that there was a set amount of money and they would not want to share it with the world. So they thought of trading it with themselves. Mercantilism is a policy of a country must export more than import. People did this because they wanted more money than making other countries get more money. The Europeans thought of strict rules where you should sell more than buy. People were punished if they would buy from other countries because they thought of this as sharing their where wealth the with other countries, from? which is not what they wanted. Good question. Europe wanted to get more land so they could stop giving other countries the money and keep it for themselves while getting the supplies they need. This was believed to be beneficial for the country so they could control who got the money. This was important so a country could supply its own gold and silver to itself. The overseas trade would enrich the mainland by serving as a market to its own self. The last main event that happened was the slave trade. The main interaction between the Africans and the Americans was the slave trade. You might wonder, why did they choose the Africans as their slaves? Most of the Africans were not prone to most of the diseases, had experience in farming, and they were also uneducated to the land. In short, they won't know the way to escape slavery. Slaves were traded by ships. They were being stuffed very close to each other that might even lead to suffocation or death. Another, another question that students might ask is, 
Why do the Americans have the right to own slaves? This is because they own a lot of rights and their slaves are their property. African slaves at the time didn't own any rights. Their owners have complete control on them. In conclusion, we learned about mercantilism, Columban exchange, slave trade, and the Middle Passage. In the policies of mercantilism, export should be larger than input. In the Columbian exchange, the Europeans and the Americans were introduced to different crops. Some even got exposed to diseases. The slaves in the slave trade were owned by the Americans as their farmer. African slaves were transported with ships that made them suffocate. These slaves weren't able to escape because they were un unducated with the, the land. And lastly, the middle of the passage was about the ship from Americas to Africa. They transported the slaves back to America.